why does the narcissist look happy with their new supply? Why do they look like they're having a good time? Why do they look like they're happier than when they were with you? Narcissists are impulsive. They do things without thinking about the consequences of their actions. They don't consider the potential risk or danger. They are very careless. They have a compulsive desire for excitement and adventure. It's escapism. It makes them feel alive. They have a tendency to seek distraction and relief from the unpleasant reality by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. Without this, they feel very dissatisfied with their lives. They get bored easily. When the narcissist obtains a new source, it gives them an intense high. It gives them a sudden pleasurable sensation or feeling of excitement. It makes them feel full of energy and life. It causes them to feel great pleasure and happiness. Although it isn't the kind of happiness that we might experience. Their happiness is very shallow. Which means that it could change at any moment. It doesn't last long. But as far as they know, in that moment, they are happy with their new source. It feels real to them. While the supply is new and unfamiliar. While they don't know much about them. In that moment, as far as they know, they are happy. And you may even see them posting pictures on social media. They look happy. They look like they're having a good time with this new source. It's like you never meant anything to them. Like they've forgotten about you. It can be very confusing when you see this. As the narcissist has probably told you many times that they love you. And they would never be able to live without you. But now you're seeing them with this new source. And it's like you never even existed. The reason why it turns out this way is because the narcissist was never interested in you as a person. They never even took the time to get to know who you are at a deeper level. Because they were only concerned with what was on the surface. They're very superficial. Because all they really care about is the supply. They don't care about the source. They care about the supply. What they get out of it and how it makes them feel. It has nothing to do with the source. It's all about them. And it was exactly the same way when they first met you. You were like a drug to them. And the first engagement they had with you was very powerful. It made them feel alive. It made them forget about all of their problems. In that moment, 
Everything was perfect. They continue to return to you, hoping to experience that same feeling again and again. But as time went by, they no longer got that same high. It became less and less effective. And this is exactly what they're going to experience with this new source. It never changes. They are going to be dependent on people, money or material things for the rest of their lives to treat their condition. To regulate their emotions and make them feel better. To distract them from all of the problems in their lives. They are self-medicating with people. They are using people to relieve their stress. It makes them feel better about themselves. It makes them feel better about their lives. They experience life through the activities of other people rather than, do them, rather than doing it themselves. They find amusement and enjoyment from imagined participation in someone else's experience. It gives them a vicarious thrill. But at the same time, it also makes them sick. They hate that they have to depend on other people to regulate their emotions. It makes them frustrated and resentful. But if they want to feel good, they have to depend on other people. And with each new source they obtain, they do feel good for that brief moment. It's like taking a drug for the first time. The new supply suppresses how the narcissist really feels about themselves. It distracts them from their problems. Instead of having to focus on their problems, now they have a person to focus on. A person to live through vicariously. They can put their attention on something else rather than their miserable lives. Rather than their faults or imperfections. But the drug is only effective for a short period of time. As they begin to use it more and more and depend on it for their sense of well-being, it becomes less and less effective until it no longer does anything, anything for them anymore. This is the same way in which the narcissist uses their sources. They use up everything that they have to offer until they have nothing left to give. And that is why they constantly have to change sources. Because it gets to a point where no matter what you do for them, it will never make them happy. Because they've learned you now. You're not new anymore. You've lost that mystery. Where they were still trying to figure you out. They've become resistant to your qualities and abilities. They are unaffected by anything good that you do for them. They take it for granted. Because after a certain amount of time, it loses its effect.
So now you've become an ineffective drug. You no longer make them feel good. You no longer distract them from their problems. And when the drug is no longer working, their only option is to try a different drug. Because now that they've built up a tolerance to you, there's nothing you can do to make them happy. When in the beginning, they admired you. You couldn't do anything wrong. But now that they're used to having you around, you can't do anything right. So now they need to get rid of you. They need to find a new drug to regulate their emotions. A new drug to suppress how they really feel about themselves. Because that's the only time that they're ever happy. Using people to self-medicate their disorder gives them this illusion of happiness. Because they're not really happy. How could they ever be happy with this disorder that they cannot cure or control? How could they ever be happy when all they ever experience is pain and shame? They will never be truly happy. If you were to ask them, they might tell you they're doing great. But just look at their behaviours. Are those the behaviours of someone who is happy? Are those the behaviours of someone who is at peace with themselves? Obviously not. They will always be experiencing pain and distress. And that's why they always need a new source. That's why they always need someone to abuse and control. People who are happy don't need to do that. If you want to know how someone feels inside, just look at their actions. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.